Keep your pseudo scientific quackery, that shit is whack to me. You manufacture data, I close the factory. Then actually, you have to be nuts to think that is factually proven. You must be stupid, don't like the two words before you prove it. He's thinking he's the meanest, he's the formulating arguments, so suave it. It's gotta be the truth, and I mean all of it. It's marvelous, and leads all of us atheists and all of it. We should just shut up quickly and leave our tones moderate. He comes across my songs, and then instantly he gets butthurt. He does a search of all of his arguments, no, they won't work. Now, who's the one that is responsible for how the world is? Who's the one that is responsible for how we all live? It takes the negative influences and poisons all the kids So they just repeat the stupid shit that you and I did What's up guys? So anybody that's been watching my channel for a while You know that I love putting the doomsday quacks on blast And we've seen a whole bunch of them over the years In fact, I've even wrote a song about it before um, But I've stumbled across another one That is absolutely worthy of ridicule Now, I don't know how many of you guys got a chance to see the other night I didn't because... The skies of my area were too overcast. But we had a lunar eclipse. Now for any kids that's watching, a lunar eclipse is when the earth aligns with the sun and casts a shadow on the moon. And it creates this effect when the moon gets darker as the shadow passes. Now as this happens, the color of the moon changes to this rusty dark red color. So it is sometimes referred to as a blood moon. Enter Pastor John Hagee, a.k.a. Reverend Chickenfoot, of the Cornerstone Megachurch in Texas. Now because we're going to have like four of these events in a six month interval, he's been telling his congregation that these are signs of the return of Jesus, which he predicts, he think he wrote a book called uh, Blood Moon. He predicts that it's supposed to happen in 2015. Now you can find a video of his recent sermon where he's telling his congregation that here on YouTube. In fact, I'll post a link to the video and to the article where I found this. He says in the article, Is this the end of the age? Hagee asked during a recent sermon before quoting Acts chapter 2 verses 19 to 20. And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. I believe that the heavens are God's billboard. That he's been sending signals to planet earth, he explained. God is literally screaming at the world, I'm coming soon, soon, soon. Now believers, any believers that's watching this, the next time you try to convince any of us that the stuff you buy into is not a product of a bygone era, I'm going to keep bringing stuff like this up. Because this is no different than when the ancient Vikings believed that two wolves chase the sun and the moon across the sky and that's why we had these lunar eclipses. and they needed to go out there and make as much noise as possible in order to save the sun and the moon. Now you'll laugh at that now. You'll ridicule them for thinking that. But I'm going to give the Vikings a pass. You know why? Because they didn't have access to the tools of observation that we have now. But some of you guys, you walk around and act like that a lot of these, these mysteries are still mysteries, even though we've discovered why these natural occurrences take place years ago. And in 2014, a man can still stand up on a pulpit and appeal to emotion and fear monger and spread misinformation to the people. Now, either he's completely confused and his brain is addled, or he's lying purposely. Either way, the effect is still the same. He's spreading ignorance. And this is why people like me and various others constantly rail on this point. The second law of thermodynamics is the most curious of all. It says that total amount of disorder or entropy always increases in the universe. In other words, things rust. Things decay. Everything gets old and eventually falls apart and rots. It's been about 13 billion years or so I wonder where the years have flown I've been a part of it all even witnessed the expansion grow I've seen the laws of physics sort out themselves I've seen the stars and planets form from out of gravity wells Even galaxies collided with others in cataclysmic wonder I caused destruction on levels too high to have a number Part of reality's fabric attached to it like a magnet I'm not a villain, there's no reason to panic 